If you're given this electron configuration, the question is, what element does this correspond to on the periodic table? There's two ways we can do this. The first, we can just count up the electrons. We have two, four, six, two, and one. If we count that all up, that equals 13. So we know that we have 13 electrons. All of the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. The number of electrons will equal the number of protons. So as we look down here, right here, aluminum, atomic number 13. That means it has 13 protons. Since it's neutral, it'll have 13 electrons, just like our electron configuration. There's one other way we could do this. We could look at the periodic table broken into orbital blocks. So here, when we look, we have all this first group here. They have S1. These are the S2. As you go across, you have 3D. You have the D1 all the way up to D10. D holds 10 electrons. And then we have the P orbital, which holds six. So we have P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our configuration, 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P1, it ends in 3P1. So we're looking for 3P1. So we go over to 3, over to the P block. Right here is 3P1. So the element we're interested in is right here, and it'll have this electron configuration. Let's go back to the periodic table with the elements written in. So just like we found before, this is aluminum. So our electron configuration here corresponds to the element aluminum on the periodic table. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.